Hey guys, Coach Garza here. I got an exciting tutorial for y'all all today. Uh, we are going to be making a trash bag kite. You heard that right. We're making a kite out of a trash bag. So uh, the things you're gonna need. Okay, you're gonna need, of course, a trash bag. It's in the name. Okay, one trash bag, standard size. Uh, you're going to need some tape. I'm using packing tape because it's a little stickier than scotch tape, but whatever you have is fine. This will probably stick a little better though. So if you have some scotch tape lying around, it's just the clear tape or some packing tape. Uh, scotch tape, the little kind of tape that we have at school uh, should work fine too. You're just gonna have to probably use more of it. I'll show you later in the video. You're going to need uh, a pencil. Okay, any kind of pencil, preferably with a sharp point. Uh, a marker, doesn't have to be permanent, but some kind of marker. Um, you don't need this, but it helps. Um, measuring tape or a ruler if you have one, okay? Uh, and then some type of string, okay? I'm just using uh, yarn or a ribbon here that I stole from my wife uh, from her arts and crafts box. But if you have some type of string, you can use that as well. Um, I saw on some of the videos, people were using fishing line. Uh, it's probably really strong. So if you have some fishing line, whatever you have, just some type of string. Um, and then probably the most curious of them, okay, you just need to find some sticks, okay? This one is about as long as my arm, okay? Um, and you're gonna not wanna find an old dead one. Uh, it's a good time of year for to find them young and green on the inside, okay? Cause you're gonna want it to bend a little bit. Okay, you don't, you don't wanna snap it, but you're gonna want it to have a little give. Okay, you need two of these. Um, these are probably two feet long, okay? And they're probably too long, we're gonna cut them, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you here in a little bit. Okay, so you need two, two good sticks. You don't want them any thicker than your pinky, okay? Thicker than your pinky is too thick, it won't bend enough. Um, and you're probably cutting those off of someone's tree, so don't be doing that. If you are, if you can't find any sticks, um, maybe try asking your neighbor that has a tree. Um, but don't cut sticks off of trees that aren't yours, guys. Okay, if you go to the park or something, um, if you go on a walk, because you, you guys should, and you can still go on a walk, make sure you're not cutting stuff off of other people's trees. Okay. Uh, try and find some on the ground. I cut these off of my my uh, tree in the backyard. Um, look around. You can find them. You're adventurous. Okay, so now let's get started. So we have our trash bag. Okay. You're going to want to fold it. So here's your trash bag. Flip it over. And it's got these little ends. Okay, you're gonna wanna fold those and get it nice and pretty, like how it looked when you got it at the dispenser, at the store. Okay, they're actually nice and folded up. They have lines uh, once you see what it looks like here. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Try and get it folded up as good as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right, it's a trash bag kite. This kite is literally trash. Okay, so we have this nice folded up. Now, we are going to make some lines to cut. Okay, so the little arms and the bottom, and I'll show y'all here in a little bit. I'm just making these. So I've marked the arms, top of the arms, and at the very bottom, I drew a line. We're gonna cut along those lines, okay? Again, doesn't have to be perfect, but it does help your kite if you make these lines nice and straight. So we cut the bottom, now we're gonna cut the arms. and you are going to want to save the arms. Don't throw them away, okay? 
Uh, we're going to use them to make the tail of our kayak. So now, because we cut off the bottom, it should open up. Okay, and you just have this kind of circular bag. So now we're going to go back to a fold, fold a line in it straight. Okay, and then cut on that line. So just cut straight. We're just going to basically make a, a long rectangle. So I just cut there on that fold. Now it comes apart. Okay. I'm going to use the, the part that uh, has the stuff on it because I think it looks cooler. If you want yours to just be blank white, you would just fold over from here. Okay. But I'm going to fold from here. So I just take this top corner and I just fold it down. Like so. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now we have this triangle and you would cut, take your marker and make a line at the bottom of this triangle Okay, and then you would cut right here. So cut right there. Then you have something that looks like this. Okay, square. Then you are going to draw a line. It doesn't matter from what corner. Okay, just split it in half. And then from one corner to the other corner, but you're going to bow it. Okay, and it looks, it looks like a bow. All right. Now. We're gonna take our sticks and we're gonna lay it out. Okay, so my stick is actually way longer than the kite. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this. Now, I have a knife that I'm using, but your parents probably don't want you using a knife sharp objects. So you'll need to probably use scissors or something, or you could just bend it. Okay. I just, just make sure if you're bending it, you're not, um, peeling too much away. Okay. So now I have this. So now it runs the length of the kite. Okay. Like that. So now I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to tape the top, bottom, and middle. Okay. It, I actually got too much. It's too much tape. If you're using packing tape, it doesn't take a lot because okay, it's super sticky. I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, so I tape the top. using that much okay now see I just put it long ways right there in the middle okay and then at the bottom now this one's a harder one okay so you actually take your it's gonna be hard for me to show you this let's see so you're going to want to run, let me see, hold this up, orderly. This is what gives our kite its tautness. Okay, see how it bends right there? Okay. So you're going to want to measure that and then cut that. So do one side at a time, okay? I wish there was a way I could show you on this. 
So you're gonna wanna actually go inside of the kite arm a little bit. Mm. It's right there. So we're gonna fold this little piece of trash bag over and then we're gonna tape it. I'll show you what that looks like. Again, not very, not a lot of tape. If you're using scotch tape, you may have to use a lot of tape. I'm using packing tape, so it's super sticky. And it's real thick, you don't wanna weigh down your kite too much, okay? So it looks like this, and I just taped it right there. So now that we have one side taped down, I'm gonna go ahead and get my tape. We're gonna do the other side. And I'll show you what this looks like when I'm done. Okay. So as you can see, it doesn't follow our line perfectly. That's okay, because where we're gonna tie it, it's gonna actually keep it up. Okay. So now it looks like that. And your stick may run away, so you may wanna put some tape over that and over that. Okay, so now we're gonna make some marks. So you know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna mark them and then I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, so we're <laughs> these facilities are just subpar guys, subpar facilities at the Garza household. So we got point A and point C. Okay. So point A and point C. A and C, can't see, can't see C. Okay, now we're gonna find point B, and this is where we're gonna type, or this is where we're going to uh, make some of our holes for our, our tie. So your knuckle is actually an inch, okay? So you're gonna put your knuckle at point A. Okay, point A is where these two should be crossing. And you're gonna do six and a half inches. Okay, I'm gonna use my tape measure because I have one. Why wouldn't I? So from point A, six and a half inches. It's gonna be right there. Okay, so point A and point B. So now what you're gonna do and because it intersects right here, I'm just gonna make point A right here, all right? And take your pencil, and you're gonna poke a hole right there, and you're gonna poke a hole right there, okay? So notice, I poked one underneath, okay? Underneath this, and then across caddy corner on top. Okay, that's important for point A. For point B, you just have to make one on one side and one on the other. Okay, so now we have four holes. Okay, so what I did is I got this and I put it all the way out like this. And then I folded it in half. So when it's spread out, it should be about an arm length, okay? Now you keep it, you keep it folded over. So the first knot that we're gonna make, check my one for reference. Make sure that you have them together. Let's see. 
right there. Okay. That's what we're going to push through. Okay. So it's still folded. I'm not pushing through the two ends. I'm pushing through this one. Okay. The loop. So you take your loop and make sure you go in where you can't see the sticks. Okay. So here's where you can see the sticks. You're going to go in where you can't see the sticks. So make sure you go through one. Okay. Then I'm going to take it. I'm going to go through another. Okay. And we'll pull it through. Now I take these two, where the two free ends are. I'm gonna put it through the loop. And when you pull it, Okay, now you're good. Now, you got one more to do. So now, you have the two ends, okay? So we're gonna go in through one of our B cuts that we made. Now for this other one, you want all this slack. Okay, so we just went a little bit through. So we're gonna finish it out and go through our second hole. And hole B. Okay, so we've gone through our second hole in hole B. Now, we're going to tie and it's just a regular knot. So I'll try and pull it through. You just go around and through. Okay, just like you're tying that first knot on your shoes. Just a regular knot. Again, you want this to be long. Tied that right there. I'll go ahead and double knot it. Just push through. If you can tie your shoes, fold and use scissors. You can make a trash kite. Okay. like this. Alright. I'm gonna switch to my finish one. So now we gotta make this final Now we're gonna make this final knot, okay? And this final knot is kind of tricky. So where you have this one, okay? You wanna bring it out to where it meets with the arm, okay? So we have a right angle right here, 90 degrees. So you have a 90 degree angle, okay? And we want our knot to be where my fingers are, okay? That's where we wanna tie our knot. 
So you take this. Okay, and if you don't pull it through, I'll show you, you can actually slide the knot to get it to be the length that you need it. Okay, so see my knot isn't isn't taut yet. Okay, it's too far over. I need it to be it for it to be closer. So I just take my knot and I slide it over. And now I pull tight. And see now my knot, I still have that 90 degree angle right there. Okay. Where this line is perpendicular with our main piece of stick. And now we need to make the tail. Okay, so now we got a full kite. Take one of your arms from that bag that we had. Okay, and you're gonna fold it here. And then you're gonna fold it once. Okay twice and then three times if you can this is just to fray it okay i'll show you what i'm talking about now you just cut make sure you don't cut your fingers post cars is not responsible for any damage done while making a trash bag kite okay now we have this little fray thing and this actually gives our kite weight so that it doesn't flip over. Okay, so now you take this, tape it to the bottom right here, and your kite is done. So then I made my tail way longer, okay, because I think it'll help. You can make it however long you want. Now, all you would need to do is tie whatever you want to fly your kite with to this, okay, and it's a little loop. So you just tie it to this, take it outside, and give it a whirl. I heard tomorrow it's supposed to be real windy, but it's supposed to be real cold on Easter Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna try and get a video for y'all of me trying to fly my kite. Could be bad, could be good, who knows? I'll let you know. Um, if you have any questions about kite building, or if you're confused on any steps, feel free to email me. Um, we might be able to set up a Zoom session. I could walk you through uh, kite crafting because I am a master now. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Happy Easter.